Today we're going to take a look at a 1968 Electra 120. These are really good typers, good workhorses. Um, let's take a look around before I do the typing demo. First of all, here's your paper holder back here. This is margin tabs. The nice thing about this carriage is that it's long enough to do landscape or portrait. Um, set your margins right there. Um, to release the carriage, you've got two white levers back here. Either one will work, and that releases the carriage, and you can hear the bell real nice. Um, when you want to open the top to replace the ribbon, make sure your carriage is all the way to the left, because otherwise the handle will scratch the top, because the top pulls up and out. You'll see the ribbon spool right here. Make sure they're threaded properly through the guidelines. We have a blog post and a YouTube video that shows you how to do that. When you get to the end of the ribbon, when you're typing, the font will get really faint. That doesn't mean you need to replace your ribbon. It just means you need to reverse the ribbon, and you do that right here. Rib, rev means ribbon reversal. Just switch the direction, and you can use your ribbon multiple times before you need to replace it. If you want to change the color, just go over here to the ribbon selector. It's on black right now. Push it down to red. Your margin release is right here, and this is your tabs, your space, and let's turn it on. The half space, oops, there we go. The half space work, the space bar works. Do not use the power space. If you do use the power space, it'll work for a second, and then it'll stop and it'll stop all your space bars. So just to reset it, just go to the next line if you do use that. So just remember, just use the half and the regular space. Okay, let's go ahead and do our typing demo. I like that this is a really dark font. Each typewriter is different in terms of how the type actually appears on the tape, on the paper. And it's just based on if there's any um, if the roller is smooth or if there's any wear on the type bars. Um, so each typewriter is kind of like its own little fingerprint. Perfect example, I had reversed the ribbon and did not um, turn it back to where it should have been set for a new ribbon. So look it up here and you'll see how it got really faint. That means the ribbon is at the very end. So I need to reverse that ribbon. I probably um, put it on when I switched it. I probably, it's a brand new ribbon, so it probably just went to the beginning. So I'll show you, I'm gonna retype that line. And so now you can see it's nice and dark again because I reversed the direction of the ribbon. So this is what you can expect to see when you get to the end of the ribbon. And then let's try the red. Oh, 
Alrighty, so I'll take a picture of that and put it on the listing with the other images. You can view the full description on our Etsy shop. The link is in our comment section below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.